Is the Explore 12 the best 12 inch magnifier on the market? That's what we're gonna find out today. In the box, you get a very large carrying bag that comes with a shoulder strap. You get the Explore 12. You get a soft material sleeve to hold the Explore 12. You get an HDMI cable and you get a charging cable with plugs from multiple countries. The Explore 12 is brought to us by Humanware and it's the largest size in their Explore line of video magnifiers. A big thank you to Humanware for sending this demo for me to make the video for you guys. As always, I will have all the contact information and links in the description box down below. Now, admittedly, the Explore 12 might not have as many features as some other 12 inch video magnifiers currently on the market. And it's definitely not the cheapest coming in at $1,700 with the included stand. But it does have some standout specifications, including multiple cameras and really high resolution cameras, a much higher magnification level than other 12 inch magnifiers, and a whole slew of color filters that we don't commonly find on digital magnifiers, including pink. For the hardware, we have a large 12 inch full HD screen. It is 1920 by 1080. On the front, you have three physical buttons. You have a zoom in, a zoom out, and your color filter button. Long pressing that color filter button also jumps you into the settings. On the top here, we have one button that's a camera button. On the left side here, we have your power button. Uh, tapping this button will also put the device to sleep. You have a charging port and a port to connect it to a, an external monitor or computer. On the back, we have two high resolution cameras. These are 21 megapixel cameras. And then we have two rows of very bright LEDs. Overall, on the back here, the camera and LED module. I really like the design of this. I love that you have the two cameras and they're both angled for either near viewing or distance viewing. And then I love that the LEDs are also angled down at a 45 degree angle for your near viewing. You also have a pop out stand on the back here. When you do pop it out, it automatically wakes up the device. That's nice. Just tapping that power button though can put it back to sleep if you need to. Uh, this is a very good stand, uh, very strong and sturdy. It has a good spring system in there, almost a little too good because when you go to close the stand, if you're not careful, that thing slams shut. But all in all, that's not a bad thing. I have no concern that this stand is gonna wear out on you or break or anything like that. For battery life, you have three and a half hours of continuous use for the device, two hours of continuous use if the device is sitting in the stand. As far as dimensions and weight, um, it's definitely not the thinnest video magnifier, 12 inch video magnifier I've seen, and it's not the lightest coming in at two and a half pounds, a hefty two and a half pounds. Just holding it like this one handed, moving it around, my, my wrist is already kind of getting a little sore. So something to keep in mind. It charges with a USB type C cable. It's a very long cable, which is good. And what's really cool is they also include several plugs from other countries. So if you do live in another country or you're gonna be traveling, you should be okay. All right, so now we're looking at some text through the Explore 12 here. And we have our buttons, our hardware buttons here on the front. I can zoom in, zoom out. Zoom is all the way from two times magnification all the way up to 30 times magnification. Now we also have our color filter button here and we can cycle through all of our different color options. There's about 15 or 16 different color options, including full color and some unique colors like pink and this light blue that you don't see on other digital video magnifiers. So that's really nice. We have a camera button up here on the top right corner. And if I click that, it will process and take a photo. Just takes a screenshot and we get a little vibration letting us know that that happened. So now if I move it around, the image stays locked on there. And we can do all the things before, like before, we can zoom in, we can zoom out, we can change our different color options. Although it takes much longer to change your colors in a photo than it does live video, which is a little strange. 
But now that we are on a photo here, if we're zoomed in some, we can use our finger to pan around the screen using our touch screen. We can also do pinch to zoom and pinch in, pinch out to zoom in, pinch in to zoom out. And that's really nice for some people that prefer using a touch screen and they find this easier to control. It's definitely not the most responsive touch screen I've ever tried. In fact, when I go to zoom, you see my fingers move quite a bit before the image actually starts to zoom in, but still nice to have. Pressing our camera button again goes back to live view. I will mention that in live view, you cannot pan around. You can't pan or scroll or anything with your finger using the touch screen, but you can do that when the Explore 12 is docked in the desktop stand. I'll show you that here in a minute. I'm gonna set a book up here off in the distance because I wanna show you the distance viewing camera. If I tap this icon up here in the upper left, it switches to the distance viewing camera and we can zoom in, we can zoom out, and of course change our colors as well. We also have the option to save an image. So if I take a screenshot once again, if I long press on the screen, I get a little saved message that it just saved that screenshot. And that's really cool, but I can also do that pretty much anywhere. So even in live view here, if I tap and hold the screen, it saves the screenshot and I get a little vibration letting me know that that's saved. Then we can access our gallery of saved images. It's actually in the settings menu. And to get into the settings menu, we press and hold the color filter button. And that jumps us into the settings menu here. High contrast, uh, and this is adjustable. You can actually set this menu, whatever color scheme you want. I can tap the little arrow here to go down, or I can also drag the menu, although it's not the smoothest way to move the menu, it does work. And in here, there's a bunch of controls like adjusting the brightness, toggling between your cameras, setting the autofocus and manual focus. Also in the menu here, you can go in and customize your color filters. So if, for example, the pink, that pink color just does not do anything for you, you can go in the menu and turn it off so it won't even show up when you're cycling through your color filters. Also in here, we have the lines and blinds. This will put either a horizontal line or a horizontal blind on your screen to make it easier to read here. So now if I zoom in, I can isolate certain lines and some for some people that makes it easier to follow along and read those one thing to note is i have the menu text set as large as it will go uh, it has three options small medium and large this is the largest and it's not quite large enough for me to see i wish i could either make it larger or I wish that the menus would actually read out loud to me whenever maybe I touched them, it would speak out loud what that menu is. That would make it much easier for me to interact with this menu. And that is about it. That's the basic operations of this digital magnifier. You do have the option to connect it to an external monitor and display the image here on a much larger screen. But now let's check out the desktop stand. Here we have the desktop stand and very easy to open up the stand and just a really simple design, but a very nice design. Whenever you drop the Explore 12 into it, it automatically detects that it was docked in the stand and turns on. Lights come on, everything. Now you have plenty of room down here to move around your reading material, or you could even put some forms down here and fill those out. Some people like to use these for like crocheting and knitting. But of course, everything still works exactly the same. You can zoom in, you can zoom out, we can change our different colors. But like I mentioned before, when you are docked in the stand, even in live view, I can pan now. I can pan back and forth, left and right. So that's pretty nice. Also in live view, we can tap on the icon up there and do our distance viewing. So we can see our book. This would definitely be nice for a student in a classroom. They can quickly jump into this distance viewing to see the front of the classroom, see the board, see what the teacher's doing up there. 
I had mentioned that you can go into the gallery through the settings here. It's actually the first option. If I tap on it there, it's going to launch the gallery. And we have arrows on the sides here. We can tap and go through our different pictures that we've saved. Apparently I saved a bunch in the orange color. If I wanted to interact with this image, I can do the pinch to zoom move around with my finger here, panning, scrolling. If I didn't care about this image anymore, I can zoom all the way out and then tap and hold on the screen. I get a delete or a cancel button pops up, tap the delete and it deletes the picture. I think the website said you could hold over 100 images on this device. Okay guys, so that was a quick look at the Explore 12 video magnifier brought to us by Humanware. Once again, huge thank you to Humanware for lending me this device to make this video for you guys. There's definitely some things that I really like about this device and some things that I'm just not crazy about. Two 21 megapixel cameras. That's pretty awesome. Uh, magnification range up to 30 times magnification. I like the large screen, obviously 12 inch. Uh, large digital video magnifiers are, I, in my opinion, always work better. You just have much larger screen real estate to work with. Really solid integrated stand here. I really like the additional desktop stand. Probably my favorite desktop stand design. Very simple with it just flips over and it has those two latches that unlock the stand. It just works really well, super lightweight, no complaints there. Now, some of the things that I'm not too crazy about, it's a pretty heavy beast. <laughs> In my opinion, uh, it's, it's kind of chunky, it's kind of heavy. It has the touch screen, which is great, but it's not as responsive as I would like. And just the fact that it doesn't have as many features as I would like to see on a device at this price point. I would love to see some OCR in it, especially when other devices at the same size have OCR and are coming in at a lower price point. As always, if you would like to learn more information about this, I will have contact info and links all down in the description below. If you have any questions for me, let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video and you found it helpful, be sure to hit the like button. And if you would like to get more content like this in the future, make sure you're subscribed to The Blind Life and turn on post notifications so you'll be alerted every time I put out a new video. As always, a huge thank you to the members of The Blind Life. And that is it for this one. Thanks again, guys. Same with The Blind Life. I'll see you next time.